Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder, back with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, things are taking a turn for the strange, because all of my saved games are gone, uh, so I probably screwed up pretty bad. Uh, I guess we're just going to continue, oops, I guess we're just going to continue on with this, uh, with this for a little while and see where it takes us. If it's just a complete repeat of the last one, then I don't know. So Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Oh, God. Huh? A, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Girl, too. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, DDK. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki... The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. This is weird. Yeah, so Siori's just been eliminated from the entire game. Yuri, who appears comparably more comp mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into DDK in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know, sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, you should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you come sit down, DDK? The girls have a few desks arranged uh, to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all their effort into... S putting all the effort to start something brand new. Which is what I just did. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm mad that I erased all my saved games. I'm conf confident that we can all really grow in this club grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying the tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry. The te teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't... A hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I... I guess. Hehe, <laughs> don't lose yourself. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, DDK, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad face. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to be reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her com comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to at the minimum at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock! Haha, <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful, changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. 
That's right, you usually like to write them out cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? I'm a Siori. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Huh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. Not very confident writer yet? Some of these aren't my lines. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Ah, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start by finding activities for all of us to participate in together. You, I did decide to take the, respon on re the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club, as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, DDK? Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. Huh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, DDK. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, DDK? Yeah, it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. DDK, I'm so happy. We could become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me at, over at me once more. DDK, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Hey, I think this is where we're going to end a little early this time. This is going differently, so I think we'll stick stick this out and see how it, how it pans out. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time.